Chinese President Xi Jinping has always impressed the world with inspiring remarks that shine with wisdom and vision. If you'd like to learn more about his governance philosophy, please tune in to our new show, Shikshanary. In the first edition of this program, we will be taking a look at putting people at the center, or Iranmin Wei Zhongxin. The leader of the country has always stressed the importance of its people. Their happiness and well-being have continued to be his primary concerns. Jiangshan is the people. The people is the people. The people is the people. The people is the people. The the concept of people-centered governance has long been a central tenet of Chinese culture. The original aspiration and the mission of Chinese communists is to seek happiness for the Chinese people and rejuvenation for the Chinese nation. Serving the people wholeheartedly has been the fundamental purpose of the century-old Communist Party of China. From a grassroots party chief to the leader of the party and the country's president, she has always kept in his mind an unchanging mission to do practical things for the people. In October 2015, he proposed the philosophy of people-centered development for the first time at a key meeting of the CPC. She said it is a philosophy that should be followed in everything we do in advancing economic and social development. President Xi himself has consistently placed the people at the forefront of his heart. He treats the little things, such as warm accommodation, hot meals, fresh air, and even rural toilet facilities, not as trivialities, but as significant aspects of his state governance. He stood in heavy rain talking with frontline workers. He has walked into farmers' barns and kitchens, checked the menu in nursing homes, and stressed virtue to young students. She generally enjoys spending time with the people. The Spring Festival, the most significant traditional festival for Chinese people, is a prime example of this. For 12 years in a row, she has established a tradition of connecting with everyday citizens ahead of the festival a time when families across the country get together for family reunions. Just days ago, President Xi made a pre-spring festival tour to Tianjin, during which he visited a village in Xiching district to learn about the recovery of farming activities after last year's floods. He also visited people affected by the floods there. Here are some photos with touching moments that I'd like to share with you. This one, captures him visiting people in disaster-stricken areas in Shanxi amid cold winds and snow at the beginning of 2022. This one was taken during a 2019 inspection in Chongqing. Despite facing slippery stone steps and steep slopes, he hiked into a village nestled deep in the mountains to learn about local poverty alleviation efforts. And in the photos taken in Beijing, he joined ordinary citizens in making dumplings, decorating windows with paper cut crafts, and sharing good wishes for the approaching spring festival. Under Xi's leadership, China has successfully helped around 100 million people leave absolute poverty behind in less than a decade, winning the battle against absolute poverty in the country with 1.4 billion people and in doing so, achieve the goal of building a moderately prosperous society in all respects. In China, the average life expectancy of its people has reached 78.2 years, and over 1 billion people are connected to the internet. Furthermore, the country has established the world's largest education system, social security system, and health care system. Coming from the people, and serving the people wholeheartedly. President Xi is leading the Chinese nation as they strive toward the goal that he calls both inspiring and simple. Our 
归根到底就是让老百姓过上更好的日子。